just to mess around with him, see what, it, what he's about. You might hear me singing one of my songs between the rounds and just like. You mean your rituals, bro? You listening to the voices? That's not songs, bro. I keep telling you, Unk, please put the pen down. The fin is not supposed to be mixed with Casamigos. All right, this video is titled, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia have an epic conversation, one-on-one GQ Sports. It, you know, Ryan just came out the closet. Well, not, not really, he's, he's a woman. He's a woman and we're gonna watch him have his one-on-one -on -one with, with Devin. Okay. Why he's sitting there like a mafia boss, bro? He's definitely not a good role model and not a guy that, you know, the younger generation. Yo, who the fuck dressed both of these niggas, bro? He looks like his haircut. He just looks like a little ass kid. I'm not even gonna lie. She should be looking at Mike Tyson only bit one ear. I want to bite both. Yeah, Ryan off that PCP, bro. There it go. Unk, stop taking the perk 30s, bro. Leave it alone. You're not supposed to mix. Then with coke, bro. I keep telling you that, but Ryan's not listening. Wait, what? What? But we couldn't get them to speak in the same room. So we interviewed them separately. Oh, that's corny though. So it's, so I just got clickbaited because they're not even talking. It's not a conversation. Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia have an epic conversation. They're not talking to each other. It was the most In the first 30 seconds, you admitted that they weren't going to be talking to each other. So I got clickbaited. Most supporter in the world. It's chill, though. Whatever you did will come out in the ring no matter what. No matter how hard you try to lie. I mean, it's obviously the easiest sport for me because it's what I do. This is something that comes natural okay, to me. Okay, but the editing is tough. You got them edited both in the... Uh, which is cool, Chills. One thing that I do love about it is that all eyes is on me. Like, you know, it's and, and everything, if I, if I lose, it's because of me. If I win, it's because of me. I'm very competitive. So I wanted it to be everything to fall on me and my hard work and my discipline and, and, and my work ethic. Who has better fashion is very obvious. Look at me. Everything I do is on point. <laughs> Ryan has his own drip, he got his own style. I got my own style, so I can't say who has more drip. It depends who you're talking to. Some people may like his style, some people may like my style. This is George Armadi's first watch collection. Right here. It's a skeleton AP, rose gold, no diamonds, no nothing, just gold. Y'all know I love jewelry. If you know jury. me, you know. I always keep the fire time pieces and some ice on. I had bought all of them, but somebody stole all of them and I only was left with the blue one. It is what it is. We were about like nine, maybe 10. We fought in the junior Golden Gloves and Ryan had a lot more experience than me. Easy work, he was a kid that, um, he was just starting out. He didn't have as much experience as me. I beat him, I gave him a count. I was always the top dog, I mean. <laughs> I mean, he was really like the lightest person I've ever fought. I've honestly body slammed him like three times, and I think he might have sprained his left leg when we fought the second time. It's like, what does that have to? Okay. Everybody knew Ryan's in the, the tournament. He'll be in the. Fight. I actually broke his wrist. He he threw a punch. I grabbed it, twisted it. It hasn't been the same since. You ever seen him punch and it's like this? It, it's not straight. It's a it's a little tilted. That's because of me. You you see how like this is straight, but like his is like that. It's it's because of me. It's like bro, what? Over the years, we grew up fighting. We grew up being rivals. So I know Ryan really well. We even, as kids, went to like circus circus in Vegas together. We went to the amusement park together. And then they take it. So y'all was friends. Okay, where did this backstory come from? I thought these was just two. Both really good boxers, 
and now they're about to fight each other and it's just like a little bit of personal beef now it's like nah bro we used to be bros like used to know him since pre-k it's like it okay the circus they get the unlimited wristbands i don't know how I, I never even knew they had unlimited wristbands back then but then all of a sudden he starts getting better and starts beating people it wasn't a lot of people in amateurs that would beat ryan but i was one of the very few and i don't think that ryan has got much better since the amateurs of course he got bigger of course he got stronger but for the most part his style is very similar he's the same mistakes that he had when we were kids He's skillful, but um, there's limits. He has limits. He's not the better boxer. I do everything better than him. I hit harder. My jab is better, way better, actually. You watch his fights, he fight. My flying elbow kick. It's like, bro, that's two different body parts. How are you kicking with your elbow? My bad. I meant my flying knee drop. It's like, see, you keep taking them per 30s. <laughs> Watch mine and you see what are you more entertained by? Who, who's the stronger fighter? Me. Who's the faster? Me. Who's just better overall? It's me. Okay, so then there should be no reason why we're watching this then, Ryan. Okay, if you're so much better, then why are you even fighting this dude then? This makes no sense. It's like, well, I just gotta prove it again. It's like... At that elite level, it's different. It's different. And I'm on a different level. I'm that elite. I'm that next. Ryan is good, but I'm that next. That next level. So what's the next level? It's elite. Ryan is good, but you're on that next level. So what level is that? I took the fight because I fight anybody. I want to make the, the biggest and the best fights. Ryan was my mandatory a long time ago, and we were supposed to fight, but Ryan went his direction and chose to do other things. I didn't think Ryan would ever fight me. I didn't okay, think I'm not going to lie. The editing is tough because they're making it look like they're looking at each other, talking to each other. So that that's cool. I, I like the way they have it edited. You know, and it was probably telling them to look in this direction. So on the camera, it looks like they're looking at each other, which is cool. It's chill. I was interested, but um, he called me out, and uh, here we are. Why not? It's the right time, right place. He has the WBC championship belt. And go rip that off him. Yeah, I mean, it was the right time. Every training camp is going to be different. I always say this is my best training camp because it always gets better. Like, this is the best training camp I've ever had. It's funner. This is the best one I've ever had. Ryan, you said that five years ago. <laughs> this is the best training camp I've ever had. Bro, you said that back in 2010, bro. You said that back in 20, 2015. You also said it in 2020. Which one is it, bro? It's 2074. You don't even box. Ryan, stop taking the pictures. And funner and exciting and thrilling because you're discovering new ideas, things you didn't see before. Yeah, bro, his Monday. eyes bulging yeah. like that, bro. Hello? Nah, we're not skipping over that. Told you. Yeah, my friend. Look it's at that. Funner and funner and exciting and. Funner and funner, exciting. That's the grammar. Thrilling because you're discovering new ideas, things you didn't see before. Yeah, Understand you're seeing that, a lot right oh, now. Man, there's like a music to boxing. Like music, boxing has its own. Nah, bro, those are the voices, bro. It's not music. I keep telling you, stop <laughs> taking the per 30s. You gotta leave them alone. Down. And its own rhythm. And its own put the lean down. <laughs> pace and it slows down and then it picks up. It's like a composing, and then pick it up, and then it could go to, it just does its own thing sometimes. <laughs> no, no, it don't. No, it don't. No, you're cooked, bro. You need to take a step back. <laughs> There's no sounds. He's hearing the rapture. Like, bro, he's chopped. He needs to leave it alone. You just gotta stay on beat. I had a, you know, hard. You're cooked. Hard time, you know, making weight at 135. I stayed there for a long time since I was, you know, 17 to 24. It was long overdue for me to, to move to 140. And uh, now I'm at one. <laughs> it's five pounds. It's five pounds. It, it took, it was long overdue for me to gain five pounds. Long overdue. It was heavy lifting and hard work and dedication. I can get that in three seconds. You give me one plate, I swear. Five pounds? It took you that long? How? You said 17 to 24?
135, I stayed there for a long time, since I was, you know, 17 to 24. It was so seven years, it took you seven years to get five pounds. I mean, that's impressive because that means you maintain that same shape for a very long time. But I'm just saying, like, he said, like, five. He said it. I thought he was going to say, like, 160 or something. Or, like, I don't know. 135 to 140 is not Long anything. overdue for me to, to... You can gain five pounds in muscle if at that point. Move to 140. And uh, now I'm at 140. I feel much more comfortable, better mentally, physically. It's five... I know pounds matter. Like, I know weight matters. But, like, dog, it's five, five pounds. Don't be surprised if you see me. I swear, just the slightest difference between 135 and 140. I swear it is. 147 in the near future. Fight movies. Um, I like Creed. I like Creed 1. I like all three of them, but I would say probably one. I'm personally not a fan of the Creeds. I know. Sorry, Michael. No. Me and Michael used to be cool. I don't know what happened. He just stopped, he just stopped talking to me. He just stopped talking to me. Ever since I took those per 30s, that's where he just stopped talking to me. I don't know what happened. Ever since I took those per 30s, he just stopped talking to me and he blew away. It's like, bro, you're not using grammar, bro. It's, it's okay. Oh, hit me back. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't texted him, though, but it's just. It's okay. Bro, text me back now. You go to it. Ryan, you didn't even text him back. Bro, that's because he was supposed to text me back when I texted him back, and then he was supposed to... Never mind, I forgot. It's like, you keep taking the perk dirty. I just feel like, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Green well, the front. one thing I respect about him is his dedication to the sport and um, to this whole journey. They're a dedicated family that don't give up, and he's resilient. They have... Okay, so he's shaking his head like he's listening to you. Which is very weird. Um, Tried their hardest. I respect him. I respect him for taking the fight. Um, a lot of guys don't want to fight me. A lot of guys go around fighting me. And Didn't you just say that he literally challenged you? So why would he challenge you and then not fight you? It doesn't make sense. If you wasn't, if, bro, if you two were just like on your own and he was like, you know what? I want. That belt, I'm gonna challenge him. And then he'd be like, actually, no, nah, I don't wanna fight. It's like, he challenged. They're Ch both off the 30s, bro. Ryan's defense, he does not have to fight me. You know, Ryan can just go do YouTube, TikTok. He made a lot of money already. He doesn't have to fight me. But I respect that he took the fight. He's daring to, to be great. If he is, if, if he is, we'll see on April 20th. Bro, that, my nigga, that's in two days. I want my name to be with the greats when it's all said and done. Um, I want my name to live on, you know, much longer than I ever will. I wanted to be, you know, show show my family something different, break the cycle, and that's what I did. And you know, now one day, you know, maybe my kids will box or my grandkids, you know, it's this will live on longer than I ever will. Yes, yeah, like the yeah. Haney legacy, mm -hmm. the Haney name. I just want to do what God wants me to do and fulfill His will. That's the only legacy I'm here to leave and do and if i'm able to okay that, that was kind of tough though you say it again the haney name i just want to do what god wants me to do and fulfill his will that's the only legacy amen yeah, I'm here to leave and do and if i'm able to do that my name will speak for itself i don't even need a box this is what i try to tell people i box because i love it and i'm that good but I don't need a box. If I retired today, I would live lavishly for the rest of my life. I do this for Jesus Christ and the kingdom of heaven and then love. With the all white fit, it's tough. Tough. Expect the unexpected. Control chaos. I don't want to say it. And a bloodbath. Come April 20th, it's going to be fireworks. The whole world needs to tune in. The world is going to see me. Beat nah, down bro, that's flawless. I'm not, I'm not sliding with that one, bro. He said bloodshed. You said fireworks. I don't want to see no sparkle or bedazzling. <laughs> nah, bro, that's false. See, there go Ryan off the 30s again, bro. Somebody need to check on, bro. Son. Yo, it's not funny. Both. <laughs> I swear, that'd be sick. Huh? 
I might even want to bite both. She should be looking at. They should be looking at guys like me. Mike Tyson only bit one ear. I want to bite both. <laughs> I swear that'd be sick. Huh? I might even start off the fight southpaw. Just to mess around with him, see what it, what he's about. You might hear me singing one of my songs between the rounds and just like. You mean your rituals, bro? You listening to the voices? That's not songs, bro. I keep telling you, Unk, please put the pen down. The fin is not supposed to be mixed with Casamigos. <laughs> you keep... <laughs> You keep, you keep taking the fit with the coat, bro. <laughs> it got you wired. <laughs> hey, he need to put this all down. <laughs> hey, bro. You, you want to hear one of my songs? I can just make a new one. <laughs> Yeah, you off the thirties, bro. Yeah, I think I was trolling. Come on, Sean. NGQ, doing what I do. Oh, that's a simple beat, and you was just off beat. We're not gonna let that slip. NGQ, doing what I do. You, you, you missed. You missed. We saw that. We saw that. We saw that. You, you can't hide. We saw it. All white, looking nice. Okay, come through. I don't know if Ryan Garcia is taking a fight serious or not. You know, that's not for me to really. Uh, that's bad, because if he's not taking you serious and then proceeds to, like, drop you something terrible, that's cut. Pays too much attention to. I'm going, up, you know, above and beyond, pushing myself to the limit in this training camp, try to, you know, compete with myself. It's bigger than Ryan Garcia. It's bigger than any, any opponent. You know, it's, I'm, I'm in there competing yeah, he's against tweaked, myself bro. and being the best me that I Ryan can be. is off so, the come here between works, If he's bro. ready or not, I will be. He's going to be obliterated and left with no crumbs. All right, man. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out another video like that. You know, just click it. Click it right here. You don't, you don't got a sub or nothing, bro. I'm making it easy. Just, just click the video. It's on your screen already. Might as well. Go ahead. Click it.